You guys are married? We're not married. We just got engaged at Christmas. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> We had said that we didn't want to move in like super quick. We wanted to make sure that it was right, you know. We've both been kind of burned in the past. Yeah, it was, timing was right. You know, take the time of year sounded like a nice round number to move in. There was only one bathroom and I poop a lot. <laughs> I mean, you asked, that's the biggest difference for sure. He said that it has, he had like tummy issues or whatever, so, you know, I, when somebody says that they have kind of a weak constitution, they're usually not lying about it, so. That would be like, oh, you, you don't want to go in there, obviously, have those types of conversations. It, it shattered some glass pretty quickly in our relationship because we had one bathroom. This is one bathroom, new relationship. If you gotta go, you should go now because like I'm gonna go in there soon and you're not gonna want to go after. That like wasn't like the biggest thing. I was like, whoa. It was the amount of stuff that he has. <laughs> like, the man comes with stuff. I feel like that was more of the... And I had like eight boxes that I had like whittled my life down to, you know? And then there was like a wall. Wall, I'm like... I loved her, I knew I loved her. And everybody I introduced her to was just like, this girl is amazing. We had talked like that, we, you know, we wanted to get married one day, but we don't want children, so it wasn't like, you know, time's ticking. Max doesn't talk about feelings a whole lot or anything, but the first time he met Robin, he was like, this is it, man. Like, don't ever, I'm gonna beat you up if you ever let her get away. And honestly, when he bought a Harley this summer, I was like, well, you know, I know what those cost. And if there is any leftover money, I don't think there is anymore <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Okay, maybe that's a few years away still, but whatever, that's cool. Things happen when they're supposed to. It was after work in the evening. We were going to Nova Scotia the next day to spend Christmas with my family and then come back and then go up to his family's house. So we're having like a date night Christmas kind of thing. Music uh, has been a big part of our relationship. Chris, the singer of the Flatliners, is on a website called Downright and got him to custom write us a song. We were just like opening Christmas presents and doing like that kind of thing and he got up and changed the music and I was like, who is this? Well, I did play it while I was proposing to Robin, but she almost like stopped the proposal because uh, she wanted to listen to the song. She's like, "This is what is this? I like this, I want to listen to this. He gave me a present and I opened it up and it was a caliper, a digital caliper, and I was like, okay, uh, what is this? Oh, Pooh Berries, it's the wrong present. She was sitting on the floor in front of the couch. I'm like, you gotta, I wanted to get down on my knee, but she's on the floor already. So I'm like, you gotta get up and sit on the couch or, or stand up or something. He came back and he gave me another one and I was opening it and I was like, no, really, what is this song? He's like, just open your present. The song wasn't very long, it was like a minute and a half, or so I needed to like, get in there and hit my cues. So then I opened it up and he was on one knee and he asked me, like, whispered. I was like, are you serious? I was so overwhelmed with emotions and stuff and nervous that uh, I just like whispered, will you marry me to her? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Will you, will you, do, would you want to take this ring here that I got for you? She said yes, so that's good. October 24th, 2020. October 2020.